Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking all things Morphe. I got a lot of ground to cover today, you guys. We are going to be comparing some palettes, talking about my thoughts on this guy right here. This is the 35G Bronze Goals Artistry Palette. This literally just launched and I also did pick up the Glam Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. There are a few other items that also launched in this collection that I chose not to pick up. Um, I think I'm going to start sharing with you guys my reasons as well why I skip certain things in a launch and why I choose not to review them so we're gonna go over that as well I just have a lot of thoughts especially about this eyeshadow palette it is the only thing that I am wearing on my eyes right now so since we have so much ground to cover enough chit chat let's go ahead and jump into the video <laughs> all right so like I said I have in front of me the brand new bronzer and then the eyeshadow palette as well I purchased these directly from the Morphe store in the Mall of America I love that I have a full actual Morphe location near me I know that Morphe is sold in Ulta now but I just like that I like I can walk into the store if there's a brand new launch I can get it that same day I don't have to pay for shipping I don't have to wait for shipping it's just really nice and convenient in this collection there was also a couple of things that launched. There was a face and body bronzing brush, a collection of some new lip glosses, as well as some new Morphe liquid highlighters. Now those are the three items that obviously I chose to pass on. The first thing I want to touch on is the liquid highlighters. They are absolutely stunning. I do have to say they nailed it with the colors and the shades that they put in that collection, but here's why I chose to pass it up. It is only sold as a collection. At least that's what I saw in the store. There was nothing individual packed you had to buy all of them there is no way that I will ever use that much liquid highlighter that's the first reason formulation is kind of icky it felt very oily very heavy the first thing I thought of is oh my god if I try to put that on top of my foundation my foundation is gonna break up it's gonna be a mess so ultimately I decided to pass it just wasn't my thing the face and body bronzing brush felt very coarse now if you are interested in it I will tell you they do have a deal at least in store I don't know if this is available online but you can purchase the bronzer and the brush I believe for like 39 bucks which saves you like ten dollars so if you're really interested in actually using this bronzing product as something all over your body you're into a giant body brush like that go for it I am just not one to apply makeup all over my body so naturally again it was a pass for me now the lip glosses I am actually wearing flower crown right now on my lips this lip gloss and this formula is one of my all-time favorites Morphe has a bomb ass lip gloss formula. If you want super good shine, juiciness, something that is long wearing, doesn't dry out your lips, doesn't feel thick or cakey, give their gloss formula a shot because it is fantastic. Now you're probably wondering, well, if you love Morphe glosses, why didn't you pick up the collection? Well, again, because it was only a collection. I couldn't buy any of the individual shades and I have so many lip products right now that I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful of that. I couldn't possibly go through all of them, but I will say if you are looking to kind of revamp your gloss collection or you want something new for summer, the shades that they did curate and put in there are so spot on. So as of right now, I'm not going to purchase it, but we'll see. Maybe if they release some of the shades individually, I'd be into it because there is this kind of pinky orangey red shade in there that is too die for. It is so pigmented, it's so beautiful, and I absolutely loved it. Just wanted to get that out of the way. That is the reason why I did pick up the other items in the collection. So let's talk about this bronzer first. So you guys, I am living for the packaging of this collection. It screams heat and bronze and summer. It's modern. It looks luxe. I just think that this packaging is fantastic. I love it. I do prefer this kind of cardboard packaging over the kind of plasticky packaging Morphe branded items usually come in. Open it up. You've got a nice giant mirror on the inside. And then here is the product. You guys, this bronzer is freaking amazing. The formula just blends. It looks beautiful on the skin. It looks soft and airbrushed. It's just buttery and I love the pan size. This kind of is screaming a dupe for those larger Stila bronzers or the Marc Jacobs bronzers. This is kind of what this kind of vibe is giving me here with this large pan just kind of like the design imprint if you guys can see. It's just a beautiful formula. I will swatch it for you. So I picked mine up in the shade Icon. This is the lightest shade. What I love about this is that this is the lightest shade, but it isn't 
overly cool undertone. It's kind of very mid-tone, even definitely warm. It is like my bronzer prayers have been answered. This is like exactly what I've been looking for in a bronzer and I absolutely love it. And just look how great it swatches. It's just a beautiful formula. It blends with ease. I did wear this all day yesterday and I didn't see any fading. It just gave me like this beautiful like bronze pop. And usually I don't like to contour and bronze. That's just not my style. I like that I can just take a larger fluffy brush, angle it on my face and just get my bronzing and my contouring done in just one swipe. And again, this tone is just perfect for that. So I absolutely love the shade and I do like that there are two darker shades. So I feel like this is going to accommodate quite a good range of skin tones. I have more of a light to medium skin tone and more golden yellowy undertones. And I feel like this showed up perfectly on my skin. And again, this is the lightest shade. What's great about it as well is that it is very buildable. It isn't so pigmented that you put it on and you feel like you're blending and blending and blending forever. It is just very effortless, flawless, just looks beautiful on the skin. This is just my baby. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to use this all summer. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and move on and talk about this guy right here. This is the 35G Bronze Goals Artistry Palette. Again, you've got this stunning packaging. I absolutely love it. There is a little slip cover on the inside that gives you all of the shade names. Off the bat, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Oh my God, does it rub me the wrong way? I cannot stand that. It might seem so minimal and stupid and it kind of is, but there's no mirror inside this palette as you can see. So if you're gonna name the shades, just at least put them on the back. I mean, look at this, there's all this blank space. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just glue this or tape this to the back, but put the shade names on the back, put the shade names on the palette. There's more than enough room whatever rant done with that open the palette up like i said there is no mirror but here are all the shades now when i saw this color layout i was extremely drawn in um this shade this shade that shade that guy right here these darker shades down here overall this is like the pops of color that i like to see and i do have to admit that i was a huge fan that there was mostly shimmers in this palette i love shimmer shadows don't get me wrong i love a good transition crease shade outer corner shade my blending shades and obviously you have the essentials in this palette definitely so for me there's more than enough mattes in here. I just do love that it's very bronzy and glowy. So that's kind of like the main focus of the palette. And I think that the layout and the color story in this palette is absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and talk about some swatches. Now the first two rows didn't impress me a ton as far as swatches go. Some of the mattes just swatched a little bit patchy. Some of the metallics just weren't that punchy. Wasn't enough, but again, like I said, I don't really judge a palette based on swatches. The next two rows did did restore my faith. I felt like these mattes swatched beautifully and the metallics were quite impressive as well. And then the last row did very well also as far as swatches go. Swatching aside, let's talk about what's on my eyes right now. So everything that you see on my eyes came from this palette. First off, let me touch on the shimmers. This is where I have the most opinion and the most thoughts. I discovered that these shimmers work best with your finger. You're not going to get very far with a brush. Let's go ahead and I'll show you guys an example. Let's talk about this kind of green gold shade right here. So first I'll take my finger. So that's what it looks like on the finger. And this is how it swatches. I'm also going to add that you have to scrape the top layer off of these shades. Um, you can actually see that there's a difference now in the way that this is swatching versus how I did my arm swatches because when I did those I hadn't even scraped off the shadows or even used them on my lids yet. So you have to scrape off the top layer. That's kind of annoying. I've never actually had to do that with an eyeshadow palette before you guys. In fact this is my first plain old Morphe palette. The other Morphe palettes that I own are collaborations. I have both Jaclyn collabs, the Vault and the original Jaclyn palette, which was a smash hit. That palette, the original Jaclyn palette, Oh my God, that should just be their formula across the board. It is like the absolute best. And I also have the James Charles palette, which is quite impressive as well. Now what I wanna do is show you guys a brush swatch. So I'm gonna dip into the shadow dry. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, the JH41. And I'm gonna show you how this swatches with a brush. Look at that, you lose all of that green pigmentation in there. It kind of just turns into like, kind of like a flat gold shade. And obviously that's dry. Now let's try it damp. I always dip into the shadow first. 
spray a little fix plus and let's go in with it wet so as you guys can see if you use your finger you are going to get a lot more color payoff the brush isn't awful but you just don't get that kind of green shade like you do when you use your finger. So I do have that shade right here on the lid. I did use this shade right here more on the outer corners. And again, I had to scrape off the top. As you can see, it's quite stunning. So if I swatch it, it's a beautiful shade. So again, tip, if you purchase this palette and you're like, oh my God, these metallics just are not giving me any kind of pop or any kind of life whatsoever, it's because you have to scrape off the top layer to get that pigmentation. I think the hardest thing with the shimmers is the fact that again, it isn't as compatible with a brush. I do prefer to use a brush most of the times when I use shimmer on my lid, unless I'm just doing like a quick all over swipe of color all over. But it does make it difficult because when you wanna be more detailed, I kind of like to take a darker metallic shade on the outer corner, take a deeper metallic shade, use that to kind of blend it together, and then I take lighter shades to kind of blend into that. I just think it creates this beautiful ombre effect. So that's kind of frustrating because it's a little bit harder to achieve that if you have to use your finger, especially if you want a pop of color in the inner corner. It's hard to take your finger and try to keep that precise, especially if you're someone who has nails or acrylics on or nails that are longer to actually try to get shadow on the lid, that can be a little bit annoying. Um, but once you use your finger and once you get it right, the metallics do look beautiful on the lid. This inner corner shade that I have on right now, that's this kind of like orangey, peachy shade is absolutely stunning. It just makes it look like your eyes are glowing. Like it is a beautiful shade. I think I'm just a little bit disappointed, disformulated. I was just literally gonna combine the words disappointed and formulation into one. Wow, where's my brain? Anyways, I'm just a little bit disappointed in the way the metallics performed off the jump. The formulation, I don't really understand why it's not consistent. Why are we not using the same formula that's in the Jaclyn collection, that's in the James Charles collab? Why is it different? I wanna whip out my Jaclyn palette that I have right here, just to kind of give you guys an idea of some similar shades. So these are the two highlight shades that Jaclyn has in her palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the first one for you. Like, look at that. That is so beautiful. Here's the second shade. It's like I barely have to put my finger in there and it's just like the color payoff is ridiculous. Now I wanna go ahead and show you the finger swatches of the two highlight shades in the, or the bronze palette. Look at that. They're just nowhere near as impressive or creamy or pigmented. Now I do wanna say the mattes, these blended beautifully on the eyes. I love how they build up. They do need to be built up. Um, they're not, again, gonna be any kind of crazy when it comes to pigmentation. They do have to be built up, but they are truly stunning. I love every single matte shadow in this palette. I did try them all on my lid in one way or another before sitting down and filming this. They just blend so beautifully, and I actually enjoy that they can be built up. I love the mattes. Home run, the formula is fantastic. Granted, some of them didn't swatch the best. Not a thing. They blended beautifully on the eyes. So I do have to say that. I do like the collection of mattes in here. You literally have everything that you will need to create an entire look. Transition shades, base shades, crease shades, outer corner shades. You've got everything in here. I will say that the shimmers, God, I just, I really wish. I wish that... I don't know. I feel like eyeshadow should be effortless. I don't want to sit here and have to scrape off layers of shadow. I don't want to be restricted to applying them in only one way, like only using my finger. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm going to have to say that it's a little bit hard for me to actually, well, I almost dropped it. It's a little bit hard for me to sit here and actually recommend this palette to you guys at this point because I don't know, I, I'm on the fence. It looks beautiful on the eyes. And again, once you work with them and you scrape off that top layer, I sound like a broken record. I keep talking about it and it's probably annoying. But once you do that, yes, they do perform pretty well. I just don't know if it's something that you guys need to just run out and grab at this point. That's kind of where I'm at. I can't put my stamp of approval on it. I can't say yes, 
this is worth it. Yes, it's only $25. Go grab it. I'm just not there. I can't do that. The bronzer, on the other hand, hell yes. If you are in the market for a new bronzer and you want something more for the body or you like this larger pan, but you want something that isn't so expensive, try this out. This bronzer is is stunning. I love it. This is probably the best thing in the whole collection. I do have to say they nailed it with the bronzer. So there are my thoughts, you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the palette. Did you pick it up? I want to know if you tried scraping the top off the metallics as well. Um, what's your favorite shade? What did you think of the mattes? Did you pick up the bronzer? Do you love it as much as me? And if you picked up the liquid highlighters, let me know what you think about those as well. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go and hit hit that bell button. Do me a solid, hit the bell button, you know, it really helps me out. That way you guys actually get notifications when I upload new videos and I don't get lost in the sea of all those other beautiful, amazing people that you subscribe to, you know, make sure I get noticed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. As always, thank you so much for your love and support, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.